friends, it's me again, Time Traveling Thomas. And it's me, Carl! Ooh, Ooh, Carl in the house! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Carl. I cracked myself up. <laughs> What's you, the word? you cracked me up. The word is let's just get things going. Let's jump in our time machine and, and take an adventure. Let's not waste any more time. Yeah. Let's go back in time. Let's <laughs> go back in time. I love it. Alright, kids. Are you ready? Let's get this time machine ready to go and take off. <gasps> Three, two, one. All right, I think we're ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. <gasps> Yo, Thomas. What's up, Carl? What day is it now? Believe it or not, Carl, it's still the sixth day. Hey, kids. What did God create on the sixth day? I want you to shout it out as loud as you can. Wow. That was way too loud. That was so loud. So loud. <laughs> Whoa. Carl, look. There's the, the first man and woman. And in verse 28, God speaks to them and gives them a job to do. They had to have a job? Like, for money? Yes, yes, Carl. God gave them some work, but not for money. He gave them authority, responsibility, and opportunity to rule. God said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and conquer it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and every living creature that moves on the ground. Wow, the earth was like a big zoo, and the humans were in charge. Yeah, sort of. Actually, the earth and everything in it was a gift from God, given over to his sons and daughters. And it is very important to God that his kids use their authority to make it amazing. Look at this. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food, and to all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds in the sky, and the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it. I give you every green plant for food. And it was so. That's like the best gift ever. Yeah. All of creation was given to the children of God. Why haven't Christians ever been told this before? Does the earth still belong to us? <laughs> yeah, Carl, a lot of Christians think that the earth belongs to the devil and demons. But we are the image bearers of God. And we have been put in charge here on earth. Many Christians don't know their origin story. When we don't know where we come from, we don't know where we're going. <sighs> God saw everything that he had made, and it was very good. There was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Wow, we have a job to do. Yeah. This is a big earth with a lot of life and a lot of opportunity. I wish that every person knew that they were created in the image and likeness of God. Me too. I wish that every person knew they had a heavenly father. Yeah. I wish we could all work together to make everything better. Yeah, every person can. The Apostle Paul said, we preach to awaken hearts and bring every person to the full understanding of truth. Yes. Yeah, this is why SRC Kids exist, to see every child awaken to their identity and destiny, that they are a child of God, and they have a big job to do. This is so amazing. It's so amazing. All right, this has been so fun, kids. Now, let's go back to Mr. Moses. He wants to bless you before we're done together today. Let's back to you, Mr. M. <laughs> Amazing. Now I want to bless you. So hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom. <laughs>